three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry Mama Harush has been gone, but she was out for the count. I wasn't feeling inspired, like that je ne sais quoi. I didn't want to play with makeup. I have been missing for a minute, but I am back. And if you guys have suggestions for me of what you'd like to see on my YouTube channel, go ahead and comment down below. And also, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell button and welcome to the community. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. How to create this look using BoxyCharm. But before we begin this tutorial, I would like to thank BoxyCharm for sponsoring this video. If you didn't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty box membership that curates the best in beauty, delivered right to your door with shipping. Members have the ability to choose up to three products in your box depending on membership. They also offer a beauty quiz that helps BoxyCharm send you a customized beauty box tailored to your wants and needs. Another perk of being a charmer, you get exclusive access to shopping experiences like the Boxy Beauty Bash, where you can find crazy discounts off of top brands and products. Without any more rambling, let's get down to business. Let's get into unboxing my boxy charms. So this is a base box and this is the box that you are going to receive in February. I just want to show you guys what's inside. So let's unbox together. The first thing I went for is the Bali Bomb Pineapple Lip Scrub because your girl needs it right now. I just want to jump ahead really quick. Mm. I like it. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. I would put this on other places too. It's Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? Moving on. We have OPV Beauty London. This is a setting powder. It's a translucent powder. I'm going to use this in my tutorial. We have the Multitasker 4-in-1 brush, Ali Goop. It's a vegan, latex-free. I'm not really good with opening boxes. I don't know if you guys are, because these nails and me, I don't know if we fully get along. The cool thing about this, there's a sponge on the other side for this. And then we have a multi-purpose and it opens, you guys. It opens and then we have an angled brush. Like what? And then it opens again. And then you have this moment. This is amazing for traveling because like there's four brushes in one stick. That's pretty intense. Then we have the Yensa primer. It's the Tone Up primer. If you guys Google this, this has really good reviews. It's a superfood cosmetic. It preps, blurs, provides brighter tone, powered by eight super black essence. Yensa has really, really good reviews. I've seen it before. They've sent me PR before and I've used it and I really like it. And then we have Ace Butte. It is the Glow Paleta. Remember what I said about my nails. I am the most violent like opener of PR and boxing because I can't just like do that like, oh my God, like Vanna, Vanna White moment. Vanna White moment, excuse my Armenian. Um, but Ace Butte Glow, like these highlighters. Wow, A1, I'm excited to use these. This was the basic box we got a lot. And then I wanna show you guys the premium box. This is what it looks like. We're gonna begin with one of my favorite products from Miss Rihanna herself, Miss Prego Rihanna. We have Miss Fenty Beauty. This is How Many Carrots Diamond Glow. Diamond Balm, sorry, Diamond Glow. I have this at home, like I can't even begin to describe how many uses this has. You can use it on your eyes, your boobs, your face, wherever you wanna shimmer and be euphoric, honey. How many of you guys are watching Euphoria? Comment down below. And who is your favorite character? I'd like to know. So then we have Future So Bright Eyeshadow Palette from Complex Culture. These are all the tones I'm going to be using on my face. 
to create a cute little flirty moment. Then we have the Pretty Vulgar. This brand is really, really cute. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it or used it. I feel like I love, 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 love their packaging. They have a clear gloss and a red gloss. Then it's the Moonlit Primer for the eyes. Don't ask why I like to smell everything. I am a freak. And then we have the Eyelash Boost Serum. Probably after I take off my lashes, I'm going to need a serum because I have on lash extensions. And if you've ever had on lash extensions, you know when you take them off, you're a little baldish on your lids. This will come in handy later. And then we have the Vike Gentle Oil Free Makeup Remover Spray with skincare activations. I'm gonna put it all on and then I'll you can use this to take it all off. So the cool thing about this is it makes your makeup melt. Vike. BoxyCharm is the move if you're into discovering new makeup, like things you wouldn't purchase yourself. It's a really good curated box because I feel like it's tastemakers and new brands you probably wouldn't purchase, but have excellent, excellent quality. It's amazing for makeup lovers and beginners too. Give it a try and let me know if you liked your boxy charm. So I'm gonna obviously get into the groove of things because I have not filmed a YouTube video in a moment. I've been doing reels on IG. I feel like I can only do one thing at a time for some reason, but we are going to stop babbling first. And then second, I'm going to prime my eye. The look I am going for is very much 90s, but if the 90s and Euphoria had a baby type situation, and I know Euphoria makeup looks are like hot, hot. We're gonna take from Maddie's eyeliner from the first episode. So I'm gonna go in with Poppin. I'm very lightly going to put it under my brow bone. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Evoke with the Mario brush. It's kind of like a brownish, but a little bit yellowy. I don't know, it looks like a really special color. I'm going to put it as a transition shade and pack it in and then pull it out. It'll kind of contour your eye as well. And then what you want to do with this color is like kind of bring it into your brow. I'm going to go in with the shade Manifest right here. And I'm going to place it, not really directly over the Evoke shade, but like right under, right at the crease and pull it out a little bit. Like so. And that kind of just like opens your eye versus like that. Now, I am gonna go back in with the primer. Cleaning that up a little bit. Picking up on a concealer, I'm going to just lighten that area up. Not trying to go into my lash line with the concealer, to be honest. And you can dictate however you want your shape over here on the edge. On the edge, I like to sharpen it up, but if you like a doll eye, you can. That's the moment I'm choosing. Now, picking on the tone Reflect, I'm going to wet a synthetic brush, pick up on it. I am going to lightly tap it and ice it out, baby. Ice me out. Ice me out. Remember that song? Oh shit. I'll spread the whole thing. So I am going to just tap that in. Just like that. I'm gonna pull it in on my inner corner. very ethereal and pretty. Now I'm gonna pick up on the Fenty How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb, and I am just going to go in on that inner corner and make it pop. I'm 
So now I'm gonna go in with a gel liner. I'm using the Inglot. I literally will like put it on the back of my hand. I want to create a very dramatic liner look. So I'm gonna start from the center and I'm gonna try to make it as thin as possible because I feel like as you keep going, you can get thicker and thicker and thicker. Now I'm gonna do the inner corner. I like to like really open it up. And it helps when you're doing your inner corner when you tilt your head like this and do it from the top. Pro tip. And I'm gonna pull it out like that. Give like a little cat eye moment. Now I'm gonna go to the edge of my eye. Do this weird thing when I open my eye. Pull it up. I'm not gonna go from the tip to connect it. This is like another pro tip. I'm gonna go in from halfway and then pull it in. And then that way you can keep building it. Just like that. Pretty, no? I didn't want to exceed the frosted. I just feel like it might look a little too aggressive. I'm just going to go in with a nude liner on my waterline. And then I'm going to also pull that nude liner just to create a base. I'm going to do a sparkle. And we're going to connect the nude liner to the sparkly tip over here to just create a spotlight for that liner. Looks funny until I put it on. Once we have on our nude liner, we are gonna go in with our Fenty. We are just picking up on that and pulling that all the way through to give you that razzle dazzle. Now I'm gonna go back in with that manifest color, the same color on my crease. And I'm just gonna grab a straight edge brush and this is a really cool way to really open up your eye. I'm gonna go right underneath where I placed the shimmer. And you're just gonna like slowly work your way through it and that way it'll give that extra drama to your eyes still now we begin with the face i'm picking up on my trusty rcma just going to buff that into my skin Now going in with my contour. This is the Tom Ford shade and illuminate number one. We're gonna cut that gobbler, honey. That's my chair. It likes to make a lot of creaky noises. So with contour, you can thin out your face by closing it in. I'm gonna go down and snatch this nose, honey. And I pull it into my brows. So a very weird thing I've been doing lately, give me credit if you try it, and then put it all over TikTok, is I've been going with my contour into my brows. Like, literally into my brows. Changes the color and I feel like it almost softens my face up a little bit. Line my lips with a contour 
Shane. Like that. Now I'm going to brighten the face up. I'm using the Hourglass in Silk. Everything I'm using is linked below. All you have to do is click it to purchase. Forehead, down the ridge of my nose, and I am going to literally just clean up the top of my brow. Making that chin pop. Using a Real Techniques 421 brush, I really, really, really like this brush. Click the link below if you want to get it. I'm just literally going to pack the concealer and blend it at the same time. This way you get maximum, maximum coverage. You don't even have to use a color corrector, I feel like, when you apply your concealer like this because it's just there. So we have our concealer on. I'm just going to blend that nose contour. And all I did was dip my blender into a little bit of RCMA, put it on the back of my hand, literally just pat it over it. Now I'm gonna go with that blender with that residue, I'm just gonna lightly go over it and marry all the colors together. Dun dun dun, dun on my face. We are gonna go with Now Viral, even though I've been using it for how long? Hmm. Blush Orgasm. And I'm gonna put two drops on my cheeks and I'm just gonna Go right there, and then I'm gonna build it up. I want more intensity in the apples, and then you can kind of ombre it up. Not ombre it, but like feather it up. And then you wanna place it, all the areas, the sun would naturally touch you. Now I'm gonna use this really cool setting powder I've been using on clients recently, and I really, really, really like it. I like it. Click the link below. If you guys want to know what it is, I'm going to tease you a little bit. So I've been using this new under eye setting powder. If you guys want to know what it is, go ahead and click the link below. I'm going to make you work for it a little bit. Picking up on a wedge. I'm just going. Look at how immaculate that makes your under eye look around my nose, just on the chin. I am going to take the straight part of this. And set that and then make that line as narrow as possible. So I can't breathe. I'm gonna take just a powder puff Pick up on that translucent powder. And set underneath the contour. Along that, I'm just gonna take the residue of whatever's left and kinda set my forehead with it. Also, the residue of it, just going to press that in the sides of my nose. Whatever is left over, I'm going to beat into the blush and the contour. Cute. I'm gonna teach you guys a really cool trick. We are taking translucent and right underneath where we contoured. I'm just setting that right there. 
look at what a difference that makes. That chisels your jaw. While I am waiting for all of this to bake and cook on my face, I'm gonna go into some lashes. I usually don't put on mascara on lash extensions, but I feel like this definitely calls for it. So I'm gonna use a spoolie to make sure that glitter is pushed off my lashes. Better Than Sex Mascara, Too Faced. Also with the top, I'm going to put it on the bottom as well. I make the ugliest face when I'm putting it on. I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks lashes individuals. Click on the link below if you guys want to know what number and su such and such and such. Just one in the middle, one on the edge. I mean, darling, these lashes, lashes Deanna really mean sure. They're there. Using the same brand, going in with a bottom moment. Three is good. I'm gonna use the Kyra West Lip Pencil and Moth. Just lining the lip. If you guys don't know what this brand is, it's immaculate. It's on the pricier side, it's a luxury brand. Like I just really feel like this is Revlon, you should really sponsor me because the way I put this lipstick on, honey, Click the link if you want to get the link to it. And then I'm just gonna lightly dab concealer right in the middle. I'm gonna go in with the Forever Walnut Makeup Forever. I'm just going to gel my brows. Just coating it first and then pulling them up. I'm just going on my cheek with the blush right here. And then going in with the powder puff and just diffusing it. Going down the bridge of my nose, just with like a highlight tone. On the lip, I want to, I wanna see if this might look cute with it. Oh, and it does. I feel like I look like a hybrid of a brat doll, somebody that belongs in Euphoria, or Princess Jasmine. What do I look the most like? Comment down below. Cute. Let me zhuzh up and give you final looks. so much for watching and I'm so excited to give you guys some vlogging content coming up and don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see from me without further ado have you guys noticed how many times you can clock me saying further ado like I just feel like I say that a lot further ado without further ado the quote of the video is actions always prove why words mean nothing and I cannot preach this enough because I just feel like a lot of people can talk a lot of schmack, you know? And they can like fill your head with a lot of finesse and I feel like a lot of people are like charmers nowadays, but actions always speak 
louder than words. Show me how much you love me, show me how much you appreciate me, versus just talking about it, be about it. I love you guys so, so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Don't take the holiday too seriously. Literally Google what it actually means. It's a tragic holiday. Love yourself, self-care above all. And if you have a Valentine, congratulations. And if you don't, you can be mine. You guys always show me so much love on my videos and it's time to return the favor. I'd love to show you love on yours. Please recreate this look, tag me on TikTok, and let Mama Harouche finesse your comments. Love you guys.